the spread of COVID-19. Quarantine and isolation is now shortened for anyone who tests positive for COVID. That's right. The CDC announcing this as COVID cases rise amid the new Omicron variant. Mm -hmm. News 12's Jeanne Caldwell joins us now from Brooklyn with the details. Jeanne. Yeah, well, what was once a 10 day quarantine is now only five days for people infected with COVID who are asymptomatic, followed by a requirement to continue wearing your mask in public for another five days. Now, this comes as the CDC says people who have who have COVID are most infectious two days before and three days after symptoms develop. The clock starts the day you test positive for COVID and at the end of five days, if you have no symptoms, you can return to normal activities, but must still wear a mask around others for five more days. If you still have symptoms after five days, you have to, to stay in isolation until you feel better. Now, along with those changes, anyone with the booster who comes in contact with an infected person but doesn't have symptoms can skip quarantine as long as you wear a mask around others for 10 days. Now, this, uh, this also applies to those who finished their two dose vaccine less than six months ago or their J and J shot less than two months ago. As the Omicron variant causes a surge in COVID cases, That's health officials important. say the volume of people having to isolate or quarantine threatens the ability for businesses and hospitals to stay open. They're now hoping to keep society running smoothly despite the spike in cases. It's a very prudent and good choice on the part of the CDC, which we spent a considerable amount of time discussing, namely getting people back in half the time than they would have been out so that they can get back to the workplace doing things that are important to keep society running smoothly. And health officials say cutting isolation and quarantine does not come without risk, so it's important to continue wearing your mask. That's the latest here in Sheepshead Bay. Jeanne Caldwell, News 12.